December 7th marked the 20th anniversary of the signing of the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights. According to a Eurobarometer survey, just under half of those questioned have heard of the Charter so far. It can only have an impact in the everyday life of EU citizens if they know their rights. What is the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights? In the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union, the rights and freedoms of the 450 million people who live in the European Union are enshrined for the first time. The actions of all EU institutions and bodies, for example the European Commission and the European Council, must be measured against these rights. National authorities are also bound by the Charter when they exercise EU law. If rights of the Charter are violated, they can be sued. This means a significant strengthening of fundamental rights in the EU. The Charter is divided into six chapters. Human dignity, freedoms, equality, solidarity, civil rights and judicial rights. Many of these rights are also written into the constitutions of the individual EU member states, such as the German Basic Law, our Grundgesetz. Why is the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights important? In terms of content, the Charter of Fundamental Rights goes further than most national constitutions in the EU. For example, it expressly guarantees the rights of children and the elderly, the protection of personal data or the right to good administration. The Charter thus offers an additional legal protective shield for all people in the EU. In addition, the Charter of Fundamental Rights forms the foundation of values of the European Union. Accordingly, Chancellor Angela Merkel attaches great importance to it. It sets down the common values and fundamental rights that have been wrested from European history, even at great sacrifice as we all know. Only a Europe that is closed confesses his values will be able to continue his path successfully. Since when has the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights been valid? On December 7th in the year 2000, the EU Charter of Fundamental Rights was solemnly signed. However, the document did not become legally binding until many years later. It entered into force on December the 1st, 2009 together with the Lisbon Treaty. Only in Poland is the Charter only partially applicable as the country has signed a so-called opt-out for domestic political reasons. The EU Charter of Fundamental Rights should not be confused with the European Convention on Human Rights of 1950. The ECHR is a legal document of the Council of Europe, an international organization with 47 member states located outside the EU. Basic human rights are also laid down in it. Their compliance is monitored by the European Court of Human Rights. And if you now want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and to my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.